Hey YouTube, it's Tywin, and I'm back again with another anime review. Shocker, I know, but that's what I do. So, I just watched High School Fleet on Crunchyroll. And actually, it turned out a little bit better than I thought it was. So I figured, you know what, I tell the world about it. And by the world, I mean the two people who subscribe to my channel. So, the production company was Production IMS. I know, it's magical. It's actually their name, is Production IMS. I've never heard of them before. They make a lot of like high school goalie anime animes. So it's 12 episodes plus the two OVAs or OVAs or UVAs as I've heard them and called before. So it really is 14 episodes. I've only ever seen all of them actually. So all of them. I had to go to some other shady website to see the OVAs but eh, it was okay. It's more fan service than actual like plot and storyline. But eh, hot girls and bathing suits. Not going to complain. So it came out spring of 2016, which would be this time last year. I know I'm a bit behind, but I got shit to do in life, so suck it up. So the genre is action military school, which I think is pretty much spot on. There's no other categories to fit in. So I rated this personally a 7 out of 10. So I rated this on the myanimelist.com, which is a website I use to organize all my shit. Because I have a lot of time and I want to watch stuff twice because I get halfway through and I'm like, I already know how this ends, this is stupid. So just try to keep everything organized, keep track of new shit coming in and out. So I'll drop a link with them, they're really cool. If you don't know what they are, go try them out. By the way, this isn't being sponsored. I wish, but no, not yet. I'm not that cool. Gotta earn my stripes. So now, we're going to tell you what it's about and then I'll tell you my personal opinion. Probably. So it's about, as a lot of animes, Teenagers saving the world. So I know, shocker, right? That's what it's aimed at. Well, it's a bunch of freshman high school girls who saved the world. So High School Fleet is about a bunch of freshman girls coming into school. Now, in this alternate universe, the ice caps melted and Japan lost a lot of its land. So what did it do? It built giant floating cities because that's what you do. You build giant floating cities. And, well, after they built the giant floating cities, there was a war, too. Doesn't talk much about it. But to stop war, they got rid of men being in charge of the military and ships. And now it's ran by all females, because that makes sense. Not being sexist, I'm just saying. It's like, why give up everybody? Why not make people equally do it? But whatever. They're called the Blue Mermaids. So these girls train, and their training starts, well, in actually elementary school. In this... Uh, Japan, once you get into school, once you start school, you start to learn about boats and the navy and how to command a ship and how to lead a ship and how to be an engineer and run a ship essentially. And when you get in high school, as in Japan, you apply to your high school, you go to your high school, and in this one, when you apply to your high school, there's a lot of colleges and high schools focused towards commanding boats. And when you're done, you become a member of the navy. So in this one, they go to Blue Mermaid High. And they learn to be well, command of boats. And it's pretty, like, dives into it. Day one of school, they have the ceremony, and it's get your ass on a boat, rendezvous here, when it's our training, day one. And there's no teachers on any of these boats. It's all the girls. So it's a battleship literally ran by a bunch of 14-year-old freshman high school girls. Because that's not going to end bad at all. Totally going to go well, right? No, it goes fucking horrible. Well, so right on the first mission, the first training exercise, a disease is caught on one of the teacher ship. That was all the teachers, all them monitor all the other girl ships. Well, this disease makes them all go crazy, like batshit crazy. And they start shooting at these ships and they're and they're finding they start using a lot of ammunition and trying to knock out the girl ship. So these girls decide, well, screw this. We're not going to die. So they start firing light ammunition back and off the torpedo. And somehow this one torpedo hits the perfect spot and sinks the ship. So why this whole time the professor is knocked out and they don't know what's going on. So they automatically assume these girls have mutinied. So there's a hit order out on them. Everybody take them down, light ammunition, blow the ship up and kill them. So these girls have to pretty much go through hell trying to survive and... and you know, prove they're innocent. Eventually they do. 
and they realized that this disease was being spread by rats or chips has also controlled the need of friends. So now they're on a rescue mission to save the friends and stop the friends from sinking other civilian ships. So my personal opinion is now that I gave you the basic storyline is actually better than I thought. I'm not a big fan of, I think I mentioned this earlier, of, you know, six year old girls, 14 year old girls saving the planet. I don't think that's realistic. I like more realistic anime. Stuff like, wow, this could be me. I'm not a girl, so it can't be me. And, well, I'm not in Japan. But whatever, you get the point. <laughs> so, it was actually terrible. Um, the acting, was, well, it's anime. It's no real acting. But the, the voices were nice. You know, clear audio. You know, the only problem is they give a lot of background story. Kind of just thrust these characters in. And you learned a little bit about the two main characters, and everyone else is pretty much ignored. Which I don't like personally, I like to know the fluff, the background, the history. So I give this out of 10. Uh, it's not crunchy roll, it's called High School Please, in case you forgot by now. It's probably pictures everywhere, so if you forget, well, that just sucks for you. It's not crunchy roll. It's the only place I've been able to find it besides legal, or not really legal, but not polite websites which I prefer not to use. So before I keep rambling on and you cl click off, I just want to say thank you for watching. My name is Kyron Haynes, and please like and subscribe. And have a good one, guys.